Thank you so much for tuning into the program today. I'm your host, Neil Howard, here on Health Professional Radio. Mindfulness seems to be the hot buzzword these days. The Boston Red Sox seem to be practicing mindfulness in the locker room, and word has it that Google is teaching the practice to its employees as well. Our guest today says that being in the zone can really ease a lot of the struggles of life. Uh, our guest is Dr. Deborah Norris. She's a neurobehavioral scientist, and she's going to talk about her brand new book, In the Flow, Bridging the Science and Practice of Mindfulness, explaining in clear language how mindfulness relieves pain and inflammation and all sorts of things. Thanks so much uh, for taking the time, and welcome to Health Professional Radio, Dr. Deborah Norris. Thank you, Neil. It's a pleasure to be with you. Mindfulness is indeed all over the place these days. Sports professionals, big business, the Seattle Seahawks, mm -hmm. Microsoft, all of them, Aetna, everybody's engaging in mindfulness. It's been on the cover of newspapers and magazines. It's a, it's a happening thing. Is it more than simply paying attention? Is it much more than that? It's a practice. Mindfulness meditation is a type of practice, just like going to the gym and lifting weights is a practice that mm -hmm. causes a change. You become stronger. Practicing meditation, you become more mindful. So it's something you, you take some time out of your day each day to do or each week, you know, whatever routine that you can cultivate. And so it's a practice. Now, you're practicing this. I guess there are some techniques that uh, work well in order to uh, maintain the, uh, I guess, the consistency of these mindfulness practices. Yes. And in the book, I describe in, in detail how to do the practice. People say they have a, an experience like they're meditating as they read the book. So I give step-by-step -step details, but it's truly very simple. If we want to create ease and simplicity in our lives, We've got to be doing something that's very easy and simple. So it's just a matter of making some time to bring your focus inward. And really something as simple as watching yourself breathe sounds boring. I know a lot of people find that's an obstacle, but it's amazing the changes that it's having for people in their lives, in their health, and so forth. You're not a, a medical doctor, right? No, I'm a PhD. I've, I've taught at Georgetown Medical School and other medical facilities. Now, My degree is a doctor of philosophy. Now, mindfulness is, of course, you know, as it suggests, of the mind. Explain how diseases, inflammation, and overall healing can be achieved through mindfulness. Well, it's amazing what the research is finding that these practices do. And remember, we can see very physical changes, visible physical changes when people do exercises of their muscles. We don't see the physical changes in the brain unless we're brain scientists who know how to do MRIs and so forth. When we do those measures of the brain, we see changes in the structure of the brain. And these, the brain is regulating different things in our body, our heart, it's regulating our hormones, our biochemistry. So as we literally change the structure. We're going to see all kinds of changes in our emotions, changes in our mood, changes in our sleep that accompany this. You know, all of the things that, that we're talking about, it seems that the pharmaceutical industry has their, for lack of a better term, answer for it. Do, right. you, ever, uh, do you ever advise uh, your patients, your clients, uh, your colleagues as to how to implement mindfulness in addition to or as opposed to pharmaceuticals to relieve pain, relieve inflammation, and some of these other things that you say we see physical uh, aspects in the brain, but not necessarily in the body initially. Yes, there's great interest among health professionals, physicians and psychiatrists and so forth in learning about the, the physiological effects of these practices so that they can use them with our clients. We have a program where we certify health professionals in teaching mindfulness meditation, whether to groups or one-on-one -on -one with their patients, so that professionals can learn to teach these practices. It's our online meditation teacher training program at the Mindfulness Center. And, and doctors and, and others alike are pleased to learn that this practice can reduce inflammation. It reduces inflammatory biomarkers like C-reactive protein and other other things associated with inflammation. It even alters the genes that regulate levels of inflammation in our bodies. It also helps boost serotonin levels and endorphin levels. So 
these are serotonins associated with mood and depression, endorphin associated with pain. So in boosting these levels, we're seeing relief of pain and relief of emotional distress um, as clinical outcomes. Now, In the Flow, your book, In the Flow, Bridging the Science and Practice of Mindfulness. Is this something that is um, accessible to all ages or is it something that you need to be a little bit grounded in the adult world in order to grasp? Because it seems that uh, the younger you are and you get a hold of being mindful, the uh, less stress and uh, the more you'll be able to cope with what life has to uh, throw at you later on. I think the book is accessible to anybody who's interested in improving the quality of their life. So many people are suffering from stress or working with others, helping them when others suffer from stress. It not only invites people to learn and experience the practice, I also, in very clear language, explain the, the scientific processes that are occurring, the changes that are occurring in the body as people do these practices. So I, I think it's accessible to, to all sorts of people. If we're not uh, as familiar with mindfulness as, we, as we'd like to be, where can we go and get some more information online about mindfulness? And in addition, get a hold of a copy of your book as well, In the Flow, uh-huh. Bridging the Science and Practice of Mindfulness. The book is available on Amazon very easily. And more information is also available on our website at themindfulnesscenter.org. And we have health professionals there who are experts and can work with people, answer their questions, or work with you one-on-one about mindfulness. We also have a uh, mindbodyjournal.com, which has articles and blog posts on meditation. And it also is a free resource for listening to guided meditations online. So you can go to mindbodyjournal.com and search up our meditations. And there's short ones, long ones, meditations for people in pain or with stress, a great resource there. In your experience, what would you say would be the biggest challenge uh, when it comes to getting the word out about mindfulness and about how useful mindfulness practices can be, uh, especially once uh, once you've been through your book? Well, the, the challenge is, is getting people to realize something that each and every one of us can do and that it can be very simple. Um, I say you're either encountering resistance or sliding into bliss. As soon as you begin the practice um, and just explore it five minutes a day, you'll start to experience the benefits of the practice, whether you do it seated on your own or whether you listen to someone guiding you in a a recording. Um, Just get started. Give it a try. It's so easy. Thank you, Dr. Norris, uh, for coming in, speaking with us today. It's been a pleasure. Once again, uh, Dr. Deborah Norris, her book, In the Flow, Bridging the Science and Practice of Mindfulness, available on Amazon and wherever uh, books are sold. Thank you for taking the time and coming in to speak with us today, Doctor. Thank you, and thank you for what you're doing, getting the word out. You've been listening to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard. Thank you for tuning in. Transcripts and audio of the program are available at healthprofessionalradio.com.au and also at hpr.fm. You can subscribe to this podcast on iTunes, listen in, and download at SoundCloud. And be sure and visit our affiliates page when you visit us at hpr.fm and healthprofessionalradio.com.au.